What's up guys? Good morning. Welcome to another episode of Sea Life. We about to head out again. Go for some uh, cobia, some mangrove snapper, just uh, hanging out with the family. And we just loading up the boat, getting it ready so we can go out. What a beautiful day. guys we just launched and we out here just getting bait by his cast netting we get some bait so we can go fishing and it looks real good out let's see y'all when we go fish Just got onto a little hardtail. Nice. Oh, he just lost his. He just got a nice one. We uh, we chilling today. We're letting the family fish. It's about to be a chill day today. And we might dive. Yeah, we might dive. Stay tuned for that. We might go for some mangroves if it's down there. Maybe some spade. Hold on, Justin. We'll see. We'll keep you guys uh, updated. But right now we're just having a chill time with the family. Justin's over here catching, or he's throwing something out. I don't know what he's catching yet. Yeah. Maybe after this we might go try for some cobia, try different rigs. I don't know. We're just gonna be chilling. Ray's over here tying up for everyone. What you doing over here? Tying up some hooks, some rigs. Nice. Little man got a little snapper. Nice dime. The small one. What's up guys? We just moved to another spot. Hopefully we catch some fish. So Obai and Anthony are in the water trying to spear some fish. Hopefully we catch some fish. We got a whole fam of uh, fishermen fishing. See if we catch some. Yo! Yo! Ooh, Anthony caught a little spade fish. Nice, Anthony. Guys, Anthony got another spade and, we, and they saw two big cobia. They just ain't trying to fish for it. Hopefully, we get one. Double up Cobia! Let's go, Anthony! Get that Cobia in! Watch out! Watch out! Oh shit! Yeah, Anthony! Yeah. Bottom boat, man. Let's get out of here. That's the bigger one. Yeah. Oh. Yes. I gas if we get it off. Yeah. yeah. Why don't you have to go home for four?
Yes, sir. Let's go. Yeah. I got. I got the weight. Wow, man, the biggest Kobe I caught this year. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, shit. Yes, yeah. Hell wow. yeah. Both of y'all hold it up. Wow. Hell yeah. yeah. Let's go. Woo. Right here. Five. Woo. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Look at this, guys. Yeah. Hopefully, y'all can see that fish. Oh. Big Kobe. Yeah. What's up guys, we just moved to another spot, trying it's to catch real. some little snapper, just for fun. Yeah, need to pull up too much. This one's on, hopefully we can catch another fish. Snapper? Nice. Nice, little baby snapper. Catch and release. Alright, we just hooked up on another rig, ran back in, doing a little more diving and uh, trying to catch some hardtails. They're kind of delicious, you know? Pretty nice day out here. You don't get none of this in Virginia, I'll tell you that. I wish they did though. Oh, Anthony shit. shot a sheep's head. Let's go. Nice. Nice, Anthony. Anthony and Bike catching some sheep's head right now. They're all up on that, uh, what's it called? Pylon? I don't know. The mangroves are deep. You want to are you coming up? Ah, yeah. Dang, but you just catch a little bait, catch a mangrove snapper right here. Nice. Yeah, they gotta be 10 inches. Sheesh. Oh, man, that's a good nice. Snap. Come on, somebody. I on another over. mangrove. Hell. Wow. Hell. Hey, somebody caught the fish over here. Nice. What's up, guys? So we just made it back to shore. We called it a day. Caught a whole bunch of cobia, some mangroves right now. And uh, we're gonna do some cobia sashimi when we get back home. So see you guys when we get back home. Yep. What do I say? I don't know. What's up, guys? We just got back to uh, the house, and we're gonna make some uh, sheep's head ceviche, and then we also gonna play up the cobia, right? And we're gonna sashimi the cobia. So tell me how we gonna do this, bike. So we're gonna start off by cutting right here behind the gill plate. All the way to the top of the head, and then you take your knife and you fall it down the back, all the way to the tail, like so. And then you just gotta slowly work it. That's you know right here. It up. Turn it over. And like that, you got a nice fillet right there. All right. Now we're gonna fillet it off the skin. Like so. Beautiful meat. Not too much bloodline. Now we're gonna do that to the other side. Same way. Fall it down the back. And all you gotta do is just guide your knife on that bone. Stay close to the bone so you can get all the meat. Another fillet. Look at that. Yeah, clean fillet right there. Fillet right off the skin. Another beautiful fillet. Oh yeah. I'll work on our second one. Yeah, let's see if this audio works. I, I got new mic guys. Let's see if this 300 feet works. Go all the way over here. Yeah, top mic. 
Can y'all hear me? Working on my second sheep head right now, getting it filleted up so we can make that fresh uh, ceviche with. Hopefully y'all hear that. She's getting a little professional over here. She like up in her game. Like so, another fillet right there. Turn it over, fall it down that backbone, all the way to the tail. And the thing about sheep head, it's a little bit difficult to clean because they got a, a lot of bones right here. The rib cage and the pin bones. So you just got to work around it. But the... Okay. And that's how we do it. Probably one of my favorite eating fish too. The meat's very clean, very sweet. Almost tastes like a crab. All right, that's it right there. All right, we're going to see you guys when we, catch, when we uh, fillet the cobia. All right, Dustin, what are we doing over here? All right, guys, so we're going to make some, uh, what's it called? Sheep's head ceviche. Mm -hmm. And uh, we didn't do the cobia. We're going to save it for tomorrow. So what we're going to do is cut all this bloodline out and then cube all the um, sheep's head. And then what we're using is... We got a red onion, a sweet onion, some limes, four jalapenos, cilantro, cucumber, and tomatoes. Then we got some minced onion, garlic salt, onion powder, black pepper, some salt and pepper. So uh, once we dice all this up, I'll show you guys how to do it. Right. We got uh, Bay over here doing some snapper uh, fish fry over here for Same dinner. Here. For dinner. Huh? Same one from the other night, but hopefully it's, it's going to taste real good tonight. All right, guys, we got all the fillets cut up, all clean. Look like uh, Bai Dewey got all the pin bones out. That's good for me. Let's work. Just need to cut the bloodline out and prep it out for uh, some ceviche. See all this red stuff? Just want to cut it out a little bit, see what we can do. After you cut it all out, you clean it up and then we cube it up some bite-sized pieces so the chips can grab it up. This, I think it's fine. Don't got to clean it all up. Take your time, get that blood line out. Check out that fish fry. Good. You ain't never had fried fish till you had Bayes fried fish. Stay crispy all day. <laughs> I don't know how he does it. But uh, we come down here and we eat that good stuff. We got Justin over here prepping the rest of the ceviche. Got be a good snack tomorrow. We just finished cutting up the ceviche. We uh, put in the lines in there to cook it overnight. Maybe about like 10 lines will do it. 
cutting up the cucumbers. We're gonna dice it up in uh, the food chopper right here. This food pro handheld food processor. We'll, uh, we'll get back to you guys when we're uh, good doing the rest. Justin over here cutting up the jalapenos. Okay, well, this is what uh, yeah, it's looking random. like. We gotta do a little more mist than that. Like you see this right here on this side? We gotta cut them all like this. <coughs> yeah, oh, don't get it too chopped up or else it'll just be mush. Okay, he's about to fry up the snapper. It's about to be some really good crispy snapper. Just like that. Good guys, check out this pork. Make sure to stay hydrated after long days of work. Uh, Alright, we're frying up the snapper. Do this little ASMR for you guys. The key to a good fish fry, for a crispy fry, is you want a hot oil. Hot oil? That's what you want. You know it's ready when it's a good golden color like this, and yeah, it sounds real crispy. It's probably about like a good two, three minutes on each side. Sometimes you don't even have to flip it, but we'll get back to you guys when this is all done. We got an update on the ceviche right here. Yeah, Dustin's, all, Dustin's almost going. done with this too. Yes. So uh, we'll get back with you guys when we finish this all up and give you guys a final product. And I hope it looks good for you guys. Cool. Alright, thanks. So Putting up the cherry tomatoes. Just cut them in half just like that. That way you have a good bite. And uh, so for those who don't like tomatoes, you can just pick around them. Not too small. Too bad we all like tomatoes around here. Yeah. Yes, sir. Okay. Okay, <laughs> they are fantastic. <laughs> the cilantro goes in there, shred it up. Make sure these aren't too uh, chopped up, or else you just be eating mush. Yeah. This is a good, this is a good a little, chop right here. Little chop, you know. Give it some color. Yeah, yeah. tomatoes it's in there. It's gonna look real good. All right. Oh, guys. Oh, guys. <laughs> oh, what's up, guys? So. We just uh, minced up all the onions and the cucumber and the red onions and everything. And then we did the cherry tomatoes, you gotta split them in half so they're more like juicy, you know? And then just put some garlic salt in there, a little all over, just eyeball it. Yeah, and we then... put that in before we filmed, we, uh, we kind of forgot. But <laughs> we got the rest of the video for you guys. Yeah, and then we get some onion powder right here, just, just put it a little all over. Don't worry, it's not going to be salty. And then uh, minced onion, you got to put a lot of this in there. Just uh, sprinkle a decent amount in there. <laughs> and then some black pepper in there. Yeah. Yeah. Some black pepper. Something like that. And then a little salt. Just a little bit of salt, maybe like this much. Maybe a little more, actually. Amazing. And then, you know, uh, mm, salty, salty. <laughs> you can't forget the MSG. And then a little bit of MSG, not too much, you know, like this. Make a little flavor. There you go. Okay. Okay. And then we just mix all this up. Let it marinate overnight with this, with the. Uh, the what's it called the sheep's head separately and then once we put it all together you take the sheep's head ceviche you drain that lime juice out and then you just put it all in here and you just mix it all up and then we like to dip it with some uh those tostito lime chips uh, I think it's over here it. you ever see these chips always get them i bet y'all are sleeping on them these are the best tostitos i ever had in my life Yeah, and then we just, we just, uh, you know, dip it in here. You get a little more lime kick out of those Tostitos. And it's going to be real good. So we'll see you guys when we finish this up in the morning. Yeah, we'll uh, wake up in the morning and we'll film us uh, straining out the sheep's head lime juice. Can we take a bite for you guys? So he's over here right almost here, done right with here. the snapper. Listen to the crisp. Mmm. Mmm. I bet that sounds good. It is delicious too, guys. I had a bite with some soy sauce. It's fantastic. Alright guys, we're 
guys. We have the phobia that we caught from yesterday. We uh, filleted it. We staked the rest so we can package it for home. But we're about to sashimi some of this. Eat it with some soy sauce. Are you breaking it down for us? It's worried fatty too, so it should be good. I feel like it's gonna melt in my mouth. We also got the sashimi here, or the, the ceviche, with the, what is it, snapper? No, it's the uh, sheep's, sheep's head. Sheep's head, the sheep's head uh, ceviche. Yeah, we put in the, uh, what is it called, the sheep's head this morning, so it should be good. All right, we'll come back for a taste test. We'll see you guys soon. All right, we're going to try some of the Kobia sashimi before we cure it, maybe. But it does make it more firm. See how it is. It's firm already. How is it? Is it fatty, Anthony? It's firm. Mm. I think it would be fine just like that. It's not that fatty, but it's firm. It has a good uh, texture to it. Good Cheers. texture. Yeah. We don't need it. Yeah, quick try bite. something. We need a quick time. Do you need to cut it thinner? Wow. First bite. You did fatty, didn't you? Wow. Yeah. Ooh. Is that good? Yes. Wow. Uh, I want to try this. I want to try some. All right, you want to get a plate so I can get it all up? And plate it? Wow. Fantastic. Really good. That's enough for every one other people, too. Mm. I still got the belly, too. Y'all never tried Kobe or Shishimi, y'all should try it. Real good. I guess we're not gonna cure. We're just gonna cut it. Tastes good. <laughs> and then uh, we still got yeah. our ceviche. Go and get a bag of chips, and then we're gonna eat some of this. Yeah. All right, guys. So we're cutting up some onions right here. We're gonna do a little vinegar sauce. We're gonna put it on top of the cobia right here. We're just plating it right now. And then uh, this is our ceviche. My dad's gonna do a little taste test. I didn't like it, like a, um, like a mo scoop and put it on it. How is it, Dad? Mmm. It's good? Delicious. Wow. Mm. Look. Delicious. Mm. Yeah, man. Wow. Tasted. I can wow. make a little flower right here. So it's professional. Good. Look at that. That's amazing. All right, guys. So we put in a little salt, a little sugar, and some water right here. Is this water? Water and vinegar. A little water and vinegar right here to brine the onions a little bit. So it tastes Kobe. real good with the Kobia sashimi. Yeah. We're cutting up the belly right now. Yeah, Mike's no doing it. No dip. No, Should be good. Yeah. Cutting up some of the belly. How's the belly? Is it fattier inside? It's got a crunch to it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Got a little crunch wow. to it. Good. It's good. Yeah. 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 You heard it? Yeah. When you hear it, it has a How is it, Dan? Is it better? Yeah. Good. Good? Come to you. Wow, look at this presentation, guys. Look at that. Let me... Yeah. Wow. Look at this. We just plating it up. Make it look real nice. Here we go. Wow. Oh, Look at that. Right. All right. Fantastic. All right, guys. It's my first taste of the cobia. Pick yourself a piece of leaf. Get a piece of cobia right there. Put some onion on it. Dip it. You guys go. Mm. Mm. It's really good. The cobia's a little firm, but the the leaf might have overpowered a little bit, so maybe no leaf next time. But it's really good, guys. <laughs> that's a wrap. Alright, guys, that's a wrap for the video. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed the Kobe of fishing and us filleting all the fish and making the ceviche, prepping it. Next video, you guys will see us eating the ceviche, prepping the Kobe for some sashimi. And uh, hopefully, you guys enjoyed the video of us just fishing with the fam and everything. So. Catch you guys on the next video. Like, comment, subscribe. See you guys on the next video. Woo! Okay.